Hello students, welcome to Pharma Syndrome YouTube channel. I hope uh, you are enjoying our videos. So please keep subscribe, comment, share, like to our channel and videos. And uh, let's go into the discussion. And today our discussion is on the classification of antihistamines, especially first generation, especially that is first generation as well as second generation of H1 receptor antagonist. H1 receptor antagonist. So generally, most of you know, histamine is a one of the autocoid involves in the number of functions. Generally, it involves in allergic reaction as well as inflammatory reactions. So here, the classification with a good mnemonics easy to remember. So histamine is one of the neurotransmitter as well as neuromediator or neuromodulator in the body. So regarding first generation as well as second generation, the second generation anti sorry, the second generation antihistamines are having some of more advantages compared to the second generation antagonist. Okay. So here regarding first generation as well as regarding second generation, there is a interesting mnemonic. You can easily remember the mnemonic for the first generation antihistamines is maximum pH at the DCT, that is maximum pH at the DCT, distal convoluted tubule, that is nephron, kidney, you can remember like this. So maximum pH at the distal convoluted tubule, that is nephron. And the example starts with meclizin. So in maximum, the letter is M, meclizin. Next P, regarding P, promethazine as well as phenyramine. Promethazine as well as phenyramine. Next, H means hydroxyzine. This hydroxygen is a H1 receptor antagonist as a first generation drug. And apart from that, it is also used in treatment of anxiety, having the anxiolytic action. And next letter is D. That is in the D, diphenhydramine as well as diphenhydramine as well as dimenhydrate. Next C. Regarding C, it is chlorpheniramine as well as cinarazin. Chlorpheniramine as well as cinarazin. So this is regarding examples of what generation and the drug remind, the drugs remain in the first generation are. So the drugs remain in first generation is after completion of chlorpheniramine as well as a synergin, the next drugs are like a cyclizin, clamastin. So the next drugs are like a cyclizin as well as clamastin and the triprolidin. So next is cyclizin, clamastin as well as triprolidin. So these are the example of first generation. The mnemonic for the first generation that is H1 receptor antagonist regarding first generation. Maximum pH at the DCT is the mnemonic and the drugs like meclizin, promethazine, phenyramine, hydroxyzin, diphenhydramine, dimenhydrinate, chlorpheniramine, cinarazine, cyclizin, clamastin, triprolidine. Next, uh, the examples regarding the second generation and the mnemonic regarding the second generation is call red FM. So most of you know radio FM. So I think uh, we are uh, in the recent days, before days, we are habituated to this FM to listen the song. So by this mnemonic also, you can easily remember the what drugs? Second generation H1 receptor antagonist. So I already informed to you, the second generation drugs are having some of advantages compared to the first generation H1 receptor antagonist. And the mnemonic is call red FM, radio FM. So radio FM 93.5. So here that is first one is citrogen, letter C, cystogen. Next, agelastin. Next letter L, levocitrogen. Again, L, loratidine. Again, next letter is R, propatidine. Next letter is E, abastine. Next letter is D, desloratidine. Next letter is F, that is fexofenidine. And next letter is mesolastin. So generally, these for our easy purpose. So many times I told you in my videos also, the mnemonics don't depend purely on the mnemonics. It is for our entertaining purpose and uh, without getting the boring. So mostly you can easily remember and uh, there is a chance also missing the some drugs, only written, not all drugs. So this is the classification of the H1 receptor antagonist as a first generation as well as second generation.
based on that simple mnemonics so here there is a two generation first generation as well as second generation so i am already told in that sorry i am already informed to you there is a advantage of there is a advantage of second generation over the first generation so what are that advantages the advantages are here like uh, i mentioned and uh, i mentioned in the table is here regarding the first generation and uh, the right side is regarding the second generation okay so regarding first generation non selectively blocks histamine receptors as well as muscarinic receptor and regarding second generation they are selective in nature generally and selectively blocks histamine receptor selectively they blocks the histamine receptors especially h1 receptors and uh, the first generation require 3 to 4 daily doses so there is a requirement of 3 to 4 daily dose of the first generation drugs but generally the second generation require once twice a day so one or two administrations is sufficient and generally first generation can cross the blood brain barrier so generally if they are crossing the blood brain barrier means they can also block the histamine receptors in the brain there is a chance of producing side effects but in case of second generation mostly they don't cross the blood brain barrier mostly they don't cross the blood brain barrier and uh, they are not having side effects like first generation the side effects of first generation like sedation due to blockade of h1 receptor convulsions and hyperactivity as well as insomnia lack of sleep so the sedation convulsions hyperactivity insomnia side effects of a first generation h1 receptor blockers is because of they are causing the blood brain barrier and in the blood brain barrier they are blocking the h1 receptors but uh, second generation after clear understanding of the first generation h1 receptor antagonist scientist made some changes in the first generation drugs by sar and they made into the second generation so the second generation are some advantages compared to the first generation so this is regarding the mnemonic based classification of the antihistamines so keep follow pharma syndrome for the updates like comment subscribe share our channel thank you